Good morning, I'm Brian Hercules, your CEO and president of Your United Way. And yes, I did say good morning. It is actually Wednesday morning, the day after our community celebration. I have to admit to you, I got up this morning and a little more pep in my step as the old dog and I went out to the mailbox to get the newspaper. I was excited to see how the press was gonna cover yesterday. Yesterday was a fantastic day. I wanna talk about yesterday a little bit. Our community celebration, you know, what does that mean? You know, the celebration to us is a time to stop and thank all the different parties from the community partners, to the agencies, to the individuals, to the volunteers, all those people for the work that they've done throughout this process. Yesterday we announced our highest pledge collection ever, almost the $3 million goal. Speaking of that, yesterday there were a couple questions asked of me and I think it's important that we talk about those questions because I think they're very valid questions. Doug Davis with the uh, Daily News Journal asked me, he said, Brian, how did it feel to be that close to the campaign goal and not make it? And I have to be honest, you know, as the humanistic side of us and that competitor side of us, gosh, it was tough, you know, to know we were within $50,000 of making that goal. But I'm gonna tell you, at your office, at your United Way, that thought passed that fast. Because uh, honestly, what's most important is we had the highest pledge year ever. Not for the dollars, but for the amount of services that that's gonna provide back to this community, because that's really truly what's on the forefront of the minds of your staff at your United Way and your board. Another question was asked yesterday. A friend of mine, Jim Thompson's son, Lucas, was in the audience. Jim and, and uh, his son, Lucas, are not only father and son, but they're business partners and they're donors. And Lucas made the comment, said, Daddy, this is nice. I said, but 450 people in this room and the cost of this place and the cost of these meals did that come out of my dollars that I donated to go to the, the agencies? Well, Lucas, let me tell you something. Great question, and the answer is no. If you remember, at the very start of our program yesterday, we listed some really wonderful uh, contributors through sponsorships. Those sponsorships, and then your cost of $10 a plate to be at that meal yesterday covered the cost of that event. No donor dollars were used in the community celebration, and I think it's important for the community to know that. You know, a couple of years ago, this community celebration was two, 220, 230 people. We had over 450 people in the room yesterday. It was truly a celebration. It was a celebration about this community and the generosity and, and the, the, the genuineness of wanting to take care of those most immediate needs in our community by each and every one of you. And I can't say thank you enough. I wanna stop now and just talk about a couple other people that, that made yesterday very special. I had the opportunity yesterday to be sitting at a head table with a group of people that we invited back for the first time, to my knowledge, in a long time, and that was our past board chairs. It was very special to have them in the room yesterday and for them to see the work that they have done in this community over the years to bring your United Way to where it is today, a viable agency in this community making a real difference in the quality of life for your friends and mine. I also want to talk about our board of directors. I want to tell you something. Last year was a very special year under the leadership of Andrew Ottman. In December, we were tracking to be about $2.9 million. We knew we were going to be close to what our goal was. Andrew stepped up as board chair and challenged the board. And that board responded, not only in their own dollars, but also advocating out in the community. And that's what it takes, all of us doing our part, to give, to advocate, and to volunteer. That's the cornerstone of your United Way. Yesterday also, we were very pleased to have about two-thirds of our agencies in the room. Wow, what a great place for the folks that are actually going to benefit from these dollars to come and see the people that make that happen. The other thing I want to do today is, is thank Tracy Toy, our campaign chair last year. Her team just did a phenomenal job. They were constantly looking at every agency, they were looking at every need, they were looking at, at what the community's ability to give was, and they just did a phenomenal job. Her and Carolyn, our, our Director of Resource Development, Carolyn, just a wonderful job. She just, she, she stays after it. She doesn't give up. No to her means not right now, and that's what we have to have. So I wanna thank the, the campaign committee, Carolyn and Tracy for the work they did. The event yesterday, wow. Just in, in coming into the room, the energy, the power, the, 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 you know, the satisfaction that was felt being in that room. 
Megan Flippin, our senior director, and her team put together a great event. A lot of people made some very, very positive comments about the event itself, the PowerPoint, the music, uh, just every little piece, every detail was taken care of. Megan, tip of the hat to you and your team. And now, and, and I know you're always, you gotta be careful when you use names because you're gonna leave somebody out, but I, I gotta say one thing. Kelly Beam yesterday, she opened up her heart. She opened up a very personal side of her family. She's been a very important part of this campaign year for us because she's been willing to share her daughter Carly with us. Yesterday was Carly's fourth birthday. And what a great place to celebrate the birthday. In a room filled with people that love and care and provide, not only for her, but for this community. People that we don't know their names sometimes, people that we don't know their circumstances, but yet as donors, as a United Way, as a board of directors, as volunteers, and I could go on and on and on, we're doing it for them. Well, it's the morning after, you know, we're celebrating the end of the 2011 year. I sent an email to our board of directors yesterday and said, you know, enjoy today, take a deep breath, because tomorrow we start again. It's seven o'clock on Wednesday morning and I'm on my way to the office. And this afternoon, Phil Holder, our incoming board uh, 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 campaign chair, will be at our office and 2012 is underway. Thank you for what you do, it means a lot. Thank you for giving, thank you for advocating, but most of all, thank you for volunteering.